In the past, we have showed you guys Pac-Man 1 and Ms. Pac-Man for the Atari 2600. But what, you, what some people don't know is that there's a third game, Junior Pac-Man, that we had and we forgot to uh, compare with, with the original two. And uh, for those of you who don't know, the original Pac-Man is such a piece of horrible crap that it actually uh, actually contributed to the great video game crash in the 80s. You want to show everybody what this looks like real quick? Okay, just, uh, just uh, real quick. Looks like this. Yeah, it looks. It's a wonderful, craptacular uh, condition. It looks like, you know, looks uh, it like looks uh, totally different. You know, nothing like the actual game. Yeah, really, just disgusting. Now, Miss Pac-Man, on the other hand, Miss Pac-Man is actually a personal favorite of ours when we were growing up. Miss Pac-Man is a personal favorite of ours when we were a kid. The music is good. It's not much more dynamic. Miss Pac-Man actually looks like a circle even with a bow tie on her head. Uh, the maps change when you go from stage to stage. Right. Yeah, it's, it, it's an overall just better, better game. Which brings us now to uh, Junior Pac-Man. It's funny, you know what's the more recent Atari titles, recent as far as you know, Atari goes, because uh, it has this rim this weird reddish rim around all the Atari games, and, you, and this is the this is the era where Atari was trying to compete directly with Nintendo to stay alive. Uh, and, what's the year on that one? This one is 1986. So again, that that is around the time that Nintendo started coming back into the uh, the fray, and uh, you could always tell because Atari really tried up their game, like heh, literally, uh, no pun intended, and. Uh, so these Atari games actually look like legit video games that we know today, or at least closest to the Nintendo era. So you wanna? Sure. Let's uh, try it out. Okay. Already, this looks a thousand times better. Right. I mean, like uh, I could see, like you know, like like a scrolls and is the right uh, um, uh, orientation. Yeah. I mean, even the frame rate. Vertical. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, like, there's even, like, a frame rate in this. Boy, it looks, like, really dark for some reason. Yeah, in our screen, it's, it's a bit dark. Yeah, wow, it's like the... Wow, it's like a much bigger map, like... Wow. Yeah, the map's huge. There's there's actually scrolling involved, that, but even the frame rate is up. I mean, like, I, I don't know what frame rate target games usually were, but... Oh, a bicycle? Or a tricycle? Uh, unicycle. Un a unicycle? I figured it was like Junior Pac-Man, so like a uh, tricycle would have made mm -hmm. sense. So, what's funny is I can't tell if... I can't tell if the high frame rate is just because I'm so used to seeing low frame rate Atari <laughs> games that th th this looks like advanced, or if this is literally like... Look, looks good. It looks fantastic, actually. Yeah, yeah, like I re remember finding this at a uh, flea market and being like, huh, like uh, I don't re remember having this one or uh, playing this one. I mean, this actually looks like, this one flows just just, just like the the like legitimate arcade games. So was this actually in the arcade, you think? Yeah, it was. You, you know how, you know what's a big giveaway? The big giveaway is that the cartridge says 1986 because that's when it was published, but um... The game itself, when you turn it on, to 1984, meaning that was when the game, that's when the original game published. You know, I mean, like the ghosts seem to move like the ghosts in the arcade. I mean, that, that's I, what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like uh, I don't know, how, I don't know how to put it, but they like use some some sort of logic, which like which, which I actually uh, recognize. Yeah. Look, and their eyes even change and they move around. I mean, you know, the animation's even better. Can you see if if it's if it if it um if it was recording on the if you could see it. If the brightness was okay on the on the on our recording here, yeah, yeah, I can see it. Looks good. Yeah, because over here it looks like almost like it's too dark. Yeah, like I mean, uh, I'm guessing like it starts on this weird c color brown, and then uh, hopefully like the air levels are are gonna be like real colors. Huh. You know I mean? Oh, I didn't mean to do it that time. I swear. You know, I figure, like, uh, during this era, like, they haven't really worked out all the problems of the, of the uh, joystick yet, you know what I mean? Like, it's still, like, 
roughish, you know? Well, the problem is, is that, I mean, it's, it's rough to us because there hasn't been a joystick in games for a while. It's funny how, how times change stuff, you know, like having a joystick used to be, used to have that real arcade feel back in the day, well, whereas today it's like, uh, joystick? Hmm, Although, point. well, actually, it's kind of come full circle. Well, it, because it's gone from, went from joystick to D-pad to mini joysticks, because that's kind of what your Xbox and whatever controllers have now. You have, uh... uh yeah, oh, oh, okay, it's true. Like, yeah, like sticks or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, that's kind of with everything. Like for me, I, I, I'm, I'm, I do a lot of filmmaking. I'm in, you know, I'm in the film field, and it's like it's weird how like cameras gone, movie cameras and film cameras have gone from having like these pistol grips on them because that was a more stable platform to back to DSLRs and boxes. But all right, this is actually a fantastic game. So is there more modes? I guess not. It just keeps. There, uh, there are more modes. I see that the color changes. Uh, and... oh, 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 like it's the uh, bears. Like it's, like it's how easy it is. Like, uh, what is that? Like a drum. It looks like a piece of cheese. Uh, Maybe it's it a drum. Like it kind of looks like a space alien. Okay, and, and so we have three bears. Oh, and that's a like yo yo, yo yo. Okay, thank you. Like that that was not what I was gonna say. Or a freaking cherry bomb with a really long wick on it. Yeah. Now it's a train. Yep. Toy toy locomotive. So maybe it's like hardness. Like oh, I th uh, I, th I think the maps changed too. Yeah. Well, sorry. Oh. Oh, you're in kitty cat mode. I guess that means you're big giant pussy. Wait, what are you going to? That's a really good question. It, it got brighter too all of a sudden. Um, that maybe. Weird. Maybe. Whoa. Okay. Like it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's a definitely harder. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like they they freaking turn into a. They, oh, little kitty. They like turn into like killable ghosts for about a fraction of a second. I think it. I think you just start on like level three or whatever. Wow. What? Okay. All right. One right. life to live. Wow. <laughs> All right. I, I, the ma the maps changed too. Which okay. Is okay. I'm I'm gonna call that root beer and not just like regular beer because I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, like this map, like these maps are too big. And I, I, <laughs> I never thought I would say that. It's just like, it's too long to play. Like, <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yeah. What's what's the point of of the thing? Like, the <sighs> point of the thing is that is, is that just when you're on their ass, that's that that's the only way you can, you can eat those ghosts. Like, it's not made for you to chase them. It's made for you to uh, like to leave. It's for them to leave. Yeah, or not even. It's probably meant for if, if we, when they're right on your tail, that's like that. That's like your last second get out of jail free card, you know. Wow, that did nothing, bro. That did nothing. You probably shouldn't even consider them. Root beer. I love how you could actually I, hear I it like bouncing along in this. <laughs> yeah. Like did, 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 you know, this is like your really challenging version, like the actual challenging ar ar arcade action version. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you, you know what's interesting about this version too? There's no there's no warp points. There's no there's no point in the map or, or if you leave the map you end up at the other side of it. But no, like I think it's on top, wasn't it? Or in the no. bottom. You, you oh, it oh there it goes, yeah. There. All certain maps have it then I guess. I'm gonna try Okay, so 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 yes, brown is uh, level one. And then what's that like? Some roller skate maybe? Oh, it is roller skate. Like I mean, it looks it looks like a fist punching down. <laughs> you see that? Like, yeah, yeah, almost like some brass knuckles on there. Yeah, so I, I guess they're all the same, just like different levels of. Well, whatever. I mean, like the maps, the maps themselves change. It's just I mean, yeah. like what else? What other variations of Pac-Man can you possibly e have? E you're right, and like like it is cool, like to, like to even have that option where you could skip stages. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, so okay, so like overall. All right. There's, pro there's probably one of the options is probably like a two-player thing where like you play as the other, you know, like one you play one, then the second player plays one, you know. Yeah. So uh, this is a really good, you know, uh, possibly like the best port. You know what I mean? Like I mean, like be. Oh, it's definitely the best port. Yeah, I mean, be be before this, we used to think that uh, Miss Pac-Man was the best port, but uh, this is the best port. Yeah, I mean, like I think I think Miss Pac-Man is good for people who don't want the scrolling screen. Yeah. But people want to advance to have like the fullest Pac-Man uh, experience will probably have to go to Junior Pac-Man. Yeah. 
You know, like in fact, I, I think the arcades had even Miss Pac-Man was supposed to be scrolling, but it's it's almost right, right. It, yeah, it's well, it, like scroll, it's almost know. like you could see the evolution of 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 Atari programmers through the years, you know. Mm -hmm. But definitely, definitely, Junior Pac-Man is probably the best one out of all three of them. Okay, if you could find one, pick it up. Yeah, like it's. I mean, I'm sure it's not worth anything, but yeah, pick it up. Yeah, we, yeah, don't get it for clutter on him, yeah. Yeah, 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 like, we, you know, uh, in fact, I wouldn't wish your money. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, that was always a time.